this demonstration video on a uh, TTA-5, uh, which is our 500-pound capacity unit. Uh, this particular one is used uh, in the steel industry, removing the nozzles uh, below the flow. Once it's on, then I can hit the up uh, and push it pretty easily around the cell depending on where you want to go. You'll notice that this particular unit is outfitted with a, a, a mobile base. It actually is a powered base that allows the unit to traverse. I'll show that at the end here. Uh, it's got a very long extended tool on it. And in fact, it rotates. And the operator can stand at a very safe distance for that rotation. Uh, then there's the grip and the release. How about that? There are your clamps on it. And then the release. And the release, you'll hear it going, but there's, there's also a proof, meaning you got to have two-handed actuation to make that happen. And when I turn this around here, you'll see the control handle and how that's set up. We have the arm up, arm down, and then the proof button that I discussed. And then, of course, the uh, the rotation buttons are here, clockwise and counterclockwise. Uh, the grip and the release are here and here. And then we have an indicator. Uh, this uh, start button can be turned off by hitting that, or you can hit the e-stop on there. One of the uh, interesting features on this particular tool is the handle, where you don't have to always stand behind it. You could stand at... Uh, you could pivot the handle in such a way that it's located either 90 degrees off a of center or 90 degrees in the other orientation over here. This is a low headroom machine. As you can see, it is intended to, to work in those environments where you can't have a lot of, where you don't have a lot of overhead clearance, but you can still move it and push it around the cell. Uh, as I was saying, this one has a, a portable base on it but it also has lift lugs on this particular unit, and those are available as an option. And then the traverse is by means of a, a, a joystick, basically, on the, this here. Forward and reverse. And uh, the, the noise that you hear is not, a mech, is not mechanically created. It is actually an audible uh, audio noise that is intended to inform everyone in the area that this machine is in motion. Uh, it's a hydraulic unit, as I mentioned. The electronics for the hydraulic are in here. The, um, the actual hydraulic uh, motor and uh, the pump and everything is, is back behind here. Uh, this being a, a high temp application has the special hose wraps on here to uh, protect the, uh, the typical uh, hydraulic hoses and electronic cables that are inside of them from any of the exposure to the very high temperature in the steel plant.